Good morning. It is Friday, a lovely sunny Friday. As a reminder, before we start the show, we are giving away a pizza prize pack today. Uh, congrats to Debbie Cooley yesterday, who won the large pizza and cookie dough from Papa Murphy's. Remember, it is one winner per household, and all prizes must be redeemed by October 31st. So this morning, I'm talking with Miss Carlson Swanson from the Food Bank and Lauren Sorg. Now that you said song, that's all I can see in your name, by the way. <laughs> Lauren Sorg from uh, Food Roots. Good morning, ladies. Ladies. Hi, good morning. good morning. We are going to talk about, I'm going to say year of wellness, but I want to start by talking about how it's not called year of wellness anymore. Right. Can we talk about that? Sure. Okay. Go ahead. Take it away. One right. of you explain. <laughs> okay. So the first year it was year of wellness and the um, support and collaboration was so strong that they continued into years of wellness. And so now it's had a refresh, a revamp, and it's now called Tillamook County Wellness. Yeah, so it doesn't really have a time frame stuck to it anymore in the way of a year or years or whatever. Correct. That's it can right. just be evergreen and living forever. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, and there is a goal. Uh, the It's going to be really hard not to call it Year of Wellness Committee. Mm -hmm. Tillamook County Even Wellness. Even for us. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so getting used well, to and then it has a nice acronym with it. You can say YOW. Yes. You know, it's, and I say TC Wellness now, and that kind of rolls okay. off your tongue. So. Yeah. Yeah, because Tillamook County Wellness is mm -hmm. kind of a lot to say. Yes. <laughs> okay, TC Wellness. I'll go with that. I like it. Uh, so you guys have the committee, the group, which is a rather large group of people and or agencies and organizations, um, have kind of targeted diabetes as the goal for a year, two years, or I, I, is there a time frame on that? It's yes. a 10 year goal. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. So the goal is by 2027, the percentage of people who are at risk of developing type two diabetes will decrease. And it's, um, there's a larger framework where it's almost more of a coalition with then subcommittees and miss and I are the chair mm -hmm. co-chairs of the access to healthy food subcommittee. Gotcha. So um, there are various different committees that are working on different aspects and parts of diabetes reduction yes. in Tillamook County. And I know Kaylin was in last month, I think, talking uh, the why mm -hmm. we're talking about kind of programs. And I, do they have a diabetes program or there, or there's something they're offering, right? They do a diabetes prevention program yeah. there at the Y and uh -huh. I believe they're about to start another one next week. If I recall correctly. Yeah. So they were in talking about that. Um, and I asked him, I was trying to remember where I was going with that. I asked him, is there a, is there a percent, like, is there a quantitative number associated with that? And he said, not really, because they don't, you guys don't really know how many people have it, but that's, is that something that the committee is working on to kind of identify? We have understanding from statistics who, what, um, demographics are at high risk mm -hmm. for type two mm -hmm. diabetes. Mm -hmm. Um, but those, those numbers are changing all the time as sure. it is becoming sure. an epidemic. So right. I could share with you, um, <clears throat> that older adults, American, Indian, native American, Hispanic, Latino, uh, black, African American, overweight, obese, and f people with heart disease, and folks with family members that are diagnosed with type 2 diabetes mm. are at a higher risk, mm -hmm. but they're not the only ones at risk. Right, mm -hmm. right. Uh, and Kaylin, I believe, mentioned that you guys were actually really focusing on people who might be in the pre-diabetes ja mm -hmm. genre. I don't know. What, what am I? What category. Category. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Because that's actually easier to turn the bus around versus if you're already in. I mean, you still mm -hmm. want to work on it, but. Right. It's a it's an easier group, I think, to target, maybe. It is. And those that don't have, maybe they have the high risk factors, mm -hmm. um, maybe the family history or the lifestyle or the diet, those pieces that mm -hmm. are known mm -hmm. to um, increase risk. Uh, we focusing on children, adults and families. I mean, basically everyone sure. um, in yeah. the community. Um, but it doesn't, pre-diabetes is a great place to start because you can really have an impact on somebody who's, who has the clock ticking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then their family members. Correct. Right. Well, yeah, sure. Because if you're going to make a lifestyle change and you're going to try to exercise more and eat more, if you're the only one in your family doing it, that's a really hard mountain to climb by it yourself. Is. And it's really about, you know, focusing on a community wide culture mm -hmm. of health. Mm -hmm. Um, and so that would incorporate whole families and sure. schools and, um, so on. Yeah. So let's talk about your specific committee. You're on the committee for 
say it, access to healthy foods. Yes. Is that right? Okay. Uh, And you have your own specific goals that then obviously fold up into the bigger group's goals. Let's talk about what some of those committee goals are for you. For the access to healthy food? Yeah. Okay. So, and it's, um, you know, Miss and I were targeted as co-chairs because our two organizations are already doing this work. Mm -hmm. And so um, instead of reinventing the wheel inside of the TC Wellness, um, we're really, each of the subcommittees are really um, lifting each other up because we're already doing this. Sure. Um, So it's... um, it adds capacity to our work um, and strengthens the overall project um, goals and outcomes. Mm-hmm. And so, for access to healthy food, um, we're already working with um, you know organizations, people that sell local food or healthy food, grocers, retailers, farmers markets. Right. Which we said you said we, but let's clarify. You're talking about Food Roots. Food Roots. Yes. Yes. So Food Roots is doing that work, and um, obviously the food bank is connecting to mm-hmm. um, our vulnerable community members, as are we with um, some of our programs that some folks may be aware of already, like the SNAP at Farmers Market program and the Double Up Food Bucks, where mm-hmm. we double a dollar for dollar up to ten dollars when people that have food stamps um, now called SNAP can go to the right. market and get. Um, more healthy foods. Right. And then another benefit of that is that it's supporting our local farmers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but so, and then caregivers and um, other organizations that can improve access to um, healthy foods. Mm-hmm. So, and we should mention Food Roots has a store, a storefront on we Main do. Street with parking now. Oh my gosh. It's yes, so we have exciting. a sidewalk. <laughs> <I know. laughs> and a parking. You can park right in front. Uh, so, yeah, and you guys have, I mean, we you can have, follow you on Facebook because you guys always post pictures of all the mm-hmm. amazing stuff that you have in there. Yeah. But so, it's almost like the farmer's market year round almost is. with the food portion yep, of it. It's a farm direct marketplace. It's called Farm Table and it's um, located right out of our nonprofit office, which is at 113 Main Avenue across from Fat Dogs on mm-hmm. Main or Pacific Restaurant on 2nd. Um, and so Farm Table is this local food storefront and it's um, it was a vision of our founder, Shelly Bow, and um, we were really excited to take it through to fruition because we had this booth at the farmer's market where we mm-hmm. were bringing together sure. a co-op of small scale farmers to sell directly to the community. But now that we have this storefront space, we're able to do it year round and the farmer's market season just closed, but we're right. open five days a week, nine to five Monday through Friday, and we accept SNAP EBT benefits there. So, cool. um, you know, people that have SNAP benefits can mm-hmm. use that. It's our goal in the future to be able to provide some sort of an incentive like the Double Up Food Box. Yeah, yeah. Um, we have to work with local partners and raise those funds, but that's a goal. Um, we also take Farm Direct Nutrition Program checks, and those checks, I believe they expire in another few weeks. So if Folks are listening and they have those those green checks with the four dollar increments on mm-hmm. them. They're called farm direct nutrition checks. You can use you can spend those checks at the Food Roots Farm awesome. Table because they're farm direct means they have to be direct. You can't use those at the supermarket. Right. Um, but you right. can use them at farm table because we're selling our local farmers direct produce mm-hmm. to you. So mm-hmm. that's a really great benefit. And then obviously when that program starts up again, I think it's in June, we'll have the that um availability at the store as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I mean, you guys have all kinds of eggs and We've lavender got vegetables. Local eggs from Schmidland Farms. They're a local um, husband and wife um, farm here in Tillamook um, on Third Street. And then we also sell Bennett's milk. We also sell cheese from Nestucca Bay Creamery. Mm-hmm. And right, it's not just vegetables. No, it is and a we do wide meat. Variety. We do lamb, chicken, oh, cool. pork, and beef from Lance's Farm Vittles and Halem River Ranch. Will be selling through us as well soon. Nice. We've also got honeys from a youth beekeeper, um, salts and lavender from Oregon Coast Lavender and Sunny Mead Lavender. So there's a there's quite a plethora of delicious and good smelling <laughs> products. So. Everyone is welcome to come in. We'd love to to see you and show off our local farms. Yeah. Um, and as Lauren said last earlier this week, mm-hmm. um, starting there, getting the eggs, the milk, the meat, yeah. The, yeah. the greens from your mm-hmm. local farmers, and yep. then heading over to get the rest of your groceries um, at our local grocery. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you can't get it here at the farm table, then... Right. Go there first. Go there and then, first, because, yeah. you know, those dollars <clears throat> really do multiply locally when you spend them here mm-hmm. in, in Tillamook. It really does help... Um, our economy and our community health and right. wealth. Right. Well, and buying things 
that are grown and raised here, eggs, milk, it's a lot healthier than stuff that maybe is being flown in from California or Montana or where, it's I fresher. don't know, where eggs. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. fresher. Um, and I'm sure the folks, especially with the eggs, they're probably free range chickens that are out yep, free range scratching the ground raised. like they're supposed to be, which is a lot healthier than, you know, sitting in a cage. And it's really empowering to know who produced your food and to make that connection. It's just goes back to, um, you know, that hand to hand handoff of your food. Mm -hmm. When you're sitting down at the table, you know where it was raised and then you know that they were raising it responsibly. Right. And that just feels good. And um, another program that Food Roots operates is the farm to school program. Mm -hmm. And so we work in five elementary schools and we we help with their school gardens, but we provide direct in classroom uh, school farm to school lessons mm-hmm. and we take kids to farms. So oh, the cool. students are really learning that lesson from an early age. And so um, sometimes they're the teachers in their families where the, they're bringing their family into the store because mm-hmm. they know about food roots and right. um, it's starting off with kids because duh. Yeah. <laughs> it just right. makes sense. Right. Um, and you are having op- food, local food open houses at Nestucca Valley Elementary next Thursday and then Nahalem Elementary the following Thursday. Yep, on the 25th. And we yeah. just did um, the South Prairie mm-hmm. uh, family night. So October is National Farm to School Month and oh, Food Roots is celebrating that. And so all district families are welcome to attend that event in their region. So if you're a Neocani district, mm-hmm. um, it's at Nahalem on the 25th Yeah. Um, from, I believe it's six to seven. Um, and then the, uh, now I'm blanking. Nesteca. Nesteca is on <laughs> the 18th. I know, two, two yeah. in, in names. Yeah. Uh, and real quick, because I will mention at the end of the show, but you guys are also having pie night next. Tomorrow. Pie nights tomorrow. Ooh, at Pacific Thanks Restaurant. For that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on your Facebook it's page. It's exciting. It's a all you can eat pie auction. Um, or there's a pie auction and then it follows with an all you can eat um, pie feast with ice cream that the Tillamook Creamery donated and we'll have live music. And Neely at Pacific Restaurant, everybody knows how amazing she is and yeah. supports nonprofits, but this this fundraiser supports the programs that I mentioned. Yeah. It's tempting to not want to eat before you go, but I also don't know if I could eat like I would recommend pie for you a eat. dinner. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I might get a little sugar overload. Something savory. <laughs> and also there are savory pies there. And oh. so there'll be savory pies for the feast and then pies for auction. Mm-hmm. I'm making um, a chicken pot pie for the Ooh, auction. Nice. Um, and I'm sure there's like cottage pie and yeah. farmer's pies. And, and then there's going like to be that. gluten-free pies too. So oh, you'll cool. have the sugar-free and gluten-free options as nice. well as the regular, you know, stuff your face with mm-hmm. all the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> with ice cream for a good cause uh, i'm going to take a quick break we're going to talk about rosenberg's where do you go to find almost anything you need for home improvement i'll tell you where rosenberg's rosenberg's has been your local connection for anything you need to build and finish your house to perfection carpet cabinets paint electrical plumbing nuts and bolts fencing windows doors and so much more all those items in one place but that's only part of the story what really makes rosenberg's your stop for home improvement is their people their knowledgeable friendly staff is there to help you through any project any question for from what paint you should use to how to install a new shower valve, you can get the help you need to do it right the first time. Stop by Rosenberg's today to rediscover what you've known all along. It's better to shop local and work with great people you can see every day. Build it, plumb it, wire it, paint it. Rosenberg's Biller Supply, Tillamook. And right now I'm giving away Papa Murphy's Pizza Prize Pack. First caller wins a free large jack-o'-lantern pizza from Papa Murphy's and one pound of chocolate chip cookie dough. Call 842-4422. First caller, 842-4422. So I'm talking with Miss Carlson Swanson and Lauren Sorg from, well, from the food bank and from Food Roots, but also from Tillamook County Wellness. The TC Wellness totally stuck with me, by the way, Lauren. Now, mm-hmm. now you said that, and I'm like, okay, now I can think of what it is. <laughs> um, Miss, I mean, we all know you're the food bank and very involved in the community. Tell me how you're obviously participating and helping with this diabetes prevention Yes, so um, our partnerships with OSU Extension and Food Roots go way back, and they do the programming that's a f- associated with educating the folks that we mm-hmm. serve mm-hmm. around gardening and oh, around sure. cooking. And so that's a big piece of how we are connected with this work, as well as at Oregon Food Bank. It is our goal to ensure that we get the freshest, healthiest food we can. Mm-hmm. And so we're working to source direct from farm produce. Um, we work with local grocers with their um, 
Fresh Alliance programs uh-huh. so that uh, folks are getting some amazing options uh, when they do go into the food pantry for assistance. Mm-hmm. Um, we understand that with food banking, that there's a responsibility in, in doing sure. our best to source um, donations that promote good health. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you you do, if I remember correctly, you get stuff from local farmers, right? We do. So um, a program that we have had for the, well, for a long time, but it's been recently really growing is local um, small farmers and gardeners bringing mm-hmm. in their excess yeah. um, and some growing specifically for us. Oh, but that's throughout. Nice. the community garden space. Yes. Exactly. Well, and I was going to say, Food Roots has a community garden. Is that right? Yeah, we do. And we um, are partnering this school year. It's a new partnership because there's a new um, intro to ag class at the Tillman mm-hmm. Junior High. That's where the community garden is located. Yeah. But Carrie Averill is the teacher, and oh, she's nice. working with our access to local food staff. To, and the students are growing food. And I mean, they're just this past week, they um, harvested 125 pounds of carrots and Holy beets cow. and kale and they that all went to the food bank here locally so that's exciting wow. the students are involved in that food well and i think it's interesting that you say like garden guard people who have a garden at their house gardeners um because i have had tomato plants that around this time of year right before the frost you got to harvest it or yes. and then then you're looking at your counter and you're like what am I going to do with all these tomatoes? Absolutely. And if you're not a canner and you don't freeze them and you don't, not sure, that's a great opportunity is Absolutely. to take them to the food bank. Mm-hmm. Yes. And we'll make sure that it gets out to pantries very quickly. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Um, did we get, did we go over all your goals? Well, there's some long-term outcomes mm-hmm. okay. that would be good. And this is shared amongst all the committees, mm-hmm. um, increasing engagement and in healthy eating patterns, increasing engagement in physical activity, Create a norm that the healthy choice is the default. Creating, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where we that don't culture. automatically go to the processed foods, yeah. McDonald's. Where Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. I like Changing that. Changing those behaviors. Um, creating um, a norm that all the health services care for the whole person. Mm-hmm. And then increasing support for the idea that creating a healthy community is the responsibility of the community, not just the individual. Mm-hmm. So there's a... That. Yeah, very holistic goals, very um, challenging goals. Yeah, and it is it is really a cross section of the community that's coming mm-hmm. together in this coalition to make this happen. And Tillamook County is really um, leading, you know, that effort in our yes. state. And well, yeah. you we've had I think the commissioners have come on and talked about how Bill specifically because I think he's a liaison. Mm-hmm. Um, he's come on and talked how other counties and in other areas have reached out and said, how, what are you doing? How can we take part in this? How can we bring this to our area? Because they see that we, there's good things happening. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Let's talk a little bit about specifics of why it's important to eat healthy foods and maybe not always buying the prepackaged foods at the store and that kind of thing. As, as far as it relates to diabetes. So with um, processed foods, mm-hmm. there is definitely a correlation in the ch- in the change of what our food system looks like, just the culture of food right. in America. And so it's an underlying factor. There's also other demographic factors. Mm-hmm. So you may be predispositioned to type 1 or type 2 diabetes. Um, processed foods also are higher in sugar and they're mm-hmm. higher in salt. Mm-hmm. And those are um, two key factors in and insulin. Yeah. Um, I mean, you may, you may have more details on the science I know, of I diabetes. I asked the question and then I realized, <laughs> well, I'm asking, you guys aren't necessarily nutritionists. <laughs> no, I am not a nutritionist. Oh, um, she's pulling up I, a paper. I do have um, the risk factors. So I did list um, the folks who may be more... Um, prone. Mm -hmm. Um, One thing that did not get on that list is um, folks age 45 or older, but it is not exclusive to that age group. Mm -hmm. But um, folks who have higher blood pressure, Mm -hmm. um, have low level of HDL cholesterol or high level of triglycerides. Um, If a a mom has had gestational diabetes Mm -hmm. or gave birth to a baby weighing nine pounds or more, um, just being not physically active or low physical activity and if you're one that has depression, you may be at a wow. greater risk. Yeah. And there's quite a, you know, those 
that's a quite a cross section of our community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. So, um, the, I mean, I'm looking at the task force online. It is a huge group of people. It is. I'm not necessarily going to list all of the people, but I think it's an interesting cross section of the community of agencies that are involved. Um, the, uh, the Reinhardt clinic, um, the hospital, the creamery, which like, I wouldn't think the creamery would be involved in something like this, but sure. Why not? Absolutely. Cause they're a they're workplace. A yeah. Um, they also are a food producer. Mm -hmm. They are a part of our community and this is what, what a great way to really ensure the health right. mm -hmm. of our community. Uh, the family counseling center, the Y, um, I love that Suzanne's in it. Suzanne Weber, yes. the mayor, uh, Cumbly, Cumbly, Columbia Pacific, uh, the coordinated school district, mm -hmm, the court, yeah, coordinated. What is that coordinated? coordinated care organization? Thank you. Um, the school district, it's a really large group of people. And then each of those people are kind of in their own subcommittee working on, is that kind of how it's broken down? There are some that are, have representatives on the task force, which, um, really are, uh, they, they worked together to determine the focus mm -hmm. and what our goals would be. Um, and then most of those have multiple representatives throughout on multiple committees mm -hmm. and, um, are all in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think when Kalen was in, he mentioned that there was a kind of an online generic pre-screening quiz you can kind of take just to give you an idea if maybe it's something more you should look into. Is that, do you know where that lives? I'm guessing it's on our website, the mm -hmm. Tillamook County Health Matters. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Tillamook County Health Matters .org. Thank you. And yes. Cause I typed in a... .com oh, you don't want to <laughs> and it didn't now. come up. Okay. And screenings is also its own sub committee as well. Like right. That's food I'm on your website and that's why yeah. I saw it and I thought, oh yeah, Kaylin yeah. mentioned something about there being a pre-screening online, I'm sure you could probably also just Google it and find something, which probably. again, it's not, it doesn't replace a, a visit to your doctor, but it could give you a good mm -hmm. idea if maybe that's something you should talk to your doctor about. Absolutely. Uh, I'm going to take another quick break. We're going to talk about the regional medical center and then we're only going to have like a minute left. So think about what you want to talk about. Okay. <laughs> Eating nutritious foods combined with regular exercise is the key to a healthy heart. Overconsumption of foods packed with added sugars and carbohydrates can lead to high blood pressure and blood sugar levels, damaging blood vessels and contributing to heart and vascular problems. To keep your heart healthy, cardiologists at Tillamook Regional Medical Center recommend eating at least five servings of fruits and vegetables each day, exercising for 30 30 minutes daily and sleeping seven to nine hours each night. Visit northwestregionalheart.com for more heart healthy tips and to take a free and confidential heart age assessment. And I think I picked this ad specifically because I think those rules also apply to diabetes. Yes. <laughs> right? Yes. Uh, we're talking with Miss Carlson Swanson and Lauren Sorg from, well, Tillamook County Health, wait, Tillamook County Wellness. And then also the food bank and food roots. Um, yeah, we have like a minute left. What else would you like to um, plug? I would love to plug the access to healthy food committee. And so when we're meeting, um, we're food roots and we're the food bank, but it's really important that we engage folks that are already or not already working within our programs. Mm -hmm. Like I mentioned, the, the community garden or the seed to supper or snap. And um, we would love it if if you're interested in learning more about the Access to Healthy Food Committee as a participant or somebody that's um, that wants to have more information, um, please reach out to either Miss or I. Um, we'd be happy to send you an invite to the next um, meeting. We're going to be working on action planning for the next steps of this process. The last six months, I believe, were um, dedicated to a speaker series. Mm -hmm. And so um, the task force... Um, they brought in speakers that spoke to the different types of the issues and committees that we're working in. Um, and so now action planning, we definitely need to have community members at the table. Sure. Uh, do you have regular meetings? Like, are they, I'm just making it up the second Wednesday of every month at two o'clock type of thing. We have the next two are scheduled November 8th from two to four at um, the OSU extension at the Partners for Rural Innovation, mm -hmm. um, 4506 uh, 3rd Street. And then December 6th from 2 to 4, you're welcome to join those meetings and uh, let us know that you're interested in 
sitting in on our committee, being a part of our committee, whatever yeah. you would or like. Or even just going to listen and, and hear what the yeah. committee is to see if it is something that's Ask questions you want to be a part of. Yeah, absolutely. One other thing I wanted to mention, and you just alluded mm-hmm. to it a minute ago, Lisa, is that um, if you don't feel that you are someone who's prone to diabetes, this information is helpful for all chronic illnesses. Yeah, and yeah. so you can't go wrong with right. yeah. with jumping on board and being a part right. of this movement. I think it's yeah. it's great for the entire community, regardless of what um, what chronic illness you may be right. concerned about. Or just even feeling better and living a healthier life. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Plus it's fun. It is. It is I, fun. I love cooking. Come hang out with Miss. Yeah. <laughs> We're fun. <laughs> And, you know, this community, I mean, we do have a plethora of, I mean, we get milk from Bennett's, we mm-hmm. get locally grown beef, we get locally mm-hmm. grown pork, we get eggs that are, lo- I mean, it is not super hard to find mm-hmm. locally grown things that you can use every day mm-hmm. when you cook and eat. Absolutely. That's right. It's amazing. Yes. Uh, hey, thanks, ladies, for coming in this morning. Thank you. This lovely Friday. I love the sun. Uh, Monday, we will have uh, Cami here from the Tillamook Fair. Don't forget, Senior Meals, 1130 at St. Mary's by the Sea in Rockaway Beach every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also noon every weekday at the Kiwana Community Center in Pacific City, as well as the Tillamook Senior Center at 4th and Stillwell. Cost is $3 for seniors and six seventy five for everyone else. Uh, there is a candidate forum on Tuesday at the Rockaway City Hall at 6 p.m. As we mentioned, tomorrow night is the annual Food Roots Pie Night at Pacific Restaurant. Doors open at 6.30. Pie auction starts at 7. Tickets are $10 for adults and $5 for youth under 12. You can just get tickets at the door, right? You can get tickets at the door. Um, you can also get them at our office today. Um, it, there's limited seating at oh, the sure, day of. Sure. But, um, you're taking if you're your around chances. town, stop by the Food Roots Farm Table and get your tickets today. On Main Street, just right next door to Pacific. Yes. Uh, the a- annual Kathy Stevens Boxing Out Hunger Memorial Show will be at the fa- fairgrounds tomorrow. The doors open at 5. Boxing begins at 6. Cost is $10 plus three non-perishable food items, which I believe is benefiting the food bank. That is correct. Yes. Uh, sanctioned by the United States Amateur Boxing Group. There is a pumpkin patch at Old House Dahlia's tomorrow and Sunday from 10 to 5. That is on Highway 101 south of Tillamook in Pleasant Valley. And then the Kilches Pumpkin Patch in Corn Maze opens this weekend, noon to 5, Saturday and Sunday, out on Kilches River Road at the Hydrangea Ranch. Ladies, thanks again for coming in this morning. Thank you. Thanks so yeah. much. And thank you, Tillamook, for listening.